So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. I'm gonna show you two ways how to get here. So for the first way, this is if you can sign into Windows. I'm on Windows right now, I can sign into it. So if you can sign into Windows, you wanna head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. And then once you're on this, next to advanced startup, you wanna click on restart now, and then click on restart now again. It's then gonna take you into that screen. And if you cannot sign into Windows, which is probably gonna be most of you, then you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it on again. Repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then you wanna turn it on again. As it's turning on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you wanna click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, I'm gonna be showing you five ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you do not see start to prepare, you wanna click on see recovery options, and then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on start to prepare. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load, let's see if it works for you. If that did not work for you, that's fine, we're gonna click on advanced options. For the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you have a restore point enabled on your computer, then you wanna click on next, and you wanna go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you don't have one, that's fine, we're gonna click on cancel. And now for the third method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then uninstall updates. Now we're gonna uninstall the latest feature update. Click on this, and then click on uninstall feature update. See if that works for you. If not, we're gonna click on close. And you could also try to uninstall the latest quality update as well. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once you're on this, we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and I click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. I'm just gonna skip the video to when the scan will be completed. And then once it's been completed, now we're gonna type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash f space full slash r. Click on enter. Now you wanna run this final scan as well. In my case, I just canceled this scan because it's gonna be taking too long to show for the tutorial. But in your case, you just wanna run both the SFC scanner command and the chkdsk scan. Run both these scans. Once they've both been completed, you wanna close out of this. And then you wanna continue to Windows, see if that works for you. If you don't have your files backed up, then you wanna go keep my files. If you do have your files backed up, then you can go remove everything. And then hopefully this will not fix your problem. 